Do you guys ever have that moment when you go into a movie just to pass the time, you're not really expecting much, but you walk out of it going, that was f***ing incredible? Palmer is one of those movies. Honest, no bullshit. This movie is fantastic, and let me tell you why. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. But if it's your first time here, let me introduce myself. My name is Brandon, aka The Brando Critic, and let me tell you why Palmer, the newest film to Apple TV Plus, is worth a watch today. And a quick side note, make sure to follow my partners at Movie Scene Canada as well. Their link is in the description. So, we have Palmer starring Justin Timberlake. Now, like I said in the beginning, this movie didn't really excite me too much. I saw the trailer and I'm like, okay, this kind of looks cute. It's my first time watching an Apple TV production. But hey, I go into every single movie with an open mind. And this is a film that really reminds me why I do that. Because going into it, I wasn't very excited. Walking out of it, this movie is so good, guys. I was not expecting to like it that much. But holy crap. But let's talk about Justin Timberlake for a second. The guy's a great actor, man. He really is. And you know, I've seen him in Social Network and I've seen him in a couple of other projects, but then when I saw him in the leading role here, I'm like, okay, Justin Timberlake, I just keep seeing him as Mr. NSYNC guy. He is great in this movie. He looks the part, you know, he really sells the really deep emotional scenes. Just looking at his eyes, you can tell that there's years and years of hurt and frustration behind them. And Justin Timberlake is really able to really bring that out. It was a great performance. It was top notch. And you're really able to care about him and the family and his relationship with Sam, the little kid. And this movie doesn't tell you his situation just flat out. Of course, there are some moments with some expository dialogue, right? You have to have it in every single movie, right? You can't show everything. Just visually speaking, the film is able to portray how our characters are feeling and how our characters are evolving over the course of the film. Now, minor, minor, minor spoiler, but this is just a great example to show how the film was able to show how our characters were changing visually. There are two sex scenes in the movie. One happens right at the beginning of the film as soon as Palmer gets out of prison, right? He goes into the bar for the first time, sees this girl, right? She's all drugged up. She kind of looks like white trash. And of course, they have sex in a trailer. And you see it all, right? This is like a raunchy-ass, disgusting sex scene. There's no love making here. It's just rough, in-your-face sex. But later on in the movie, there's another sex scene, and it's not so hardcore, in-your-face. <laughs> it's the best way I could describe it. This one's more passionate. And it's at the point in the movie when Palmer starts to really have a relationship with the community, with his friends, with his family again, once he starts to become a better person. And it's just a subtle visual thing. And that's what I love about this movie is that it's visual. You know, they don't have to tell us everything. And let's talk about the kid. This is Ryder Allen playing Sam. First of all, great performance, a wonderful child performance. And this boy likes to watch this princess show, you know, likes to play dress up, likes to play with, you know, tea sets. And I don't know if he's actually gay. I don't think they actually say it in the movie, but you know, he is very feminine, likes to wear feminine things. He doesn't really care about social norms. And of course, that starts off with a clash between Palmer and him, but the relationship between them is just so heartwarming, so endearing, it feels so real, and you can see that both of them change together throughout the entire movie. And when films can make you look at your own life with a new sense of hope and an inspiration, I think that's when a film can just really impact you the most. And this film teaches us that people can change. You know, Palmer went to prison for attempted murder. And of course you think, oh, you shouldn't have any second chances. You're a menace to society, you're a criminal. But as you see throughout the entire movie, people have the opportunity to change. And it's a wonderful thing. And even though he doesn't, you know, win the lottery, he doesn't become rich, you know, he's not like from prison, regs to riches, so to speak, but you do see him make incremental steps in his life to get better. And that's the great part. You know, it's not the destination, it's the journey. It's cliche, but it's true though. And it also teaches us that people can be whatever they wanna be regardless of what the social norms teach us. And they don't hit us over the head with it. It feels very natural in the story. It's not like people can be whatever they wanna be. You are a racist, you're a sexist. It's not like in your face, woke agenda. It's just this boy likes to play with girl stuff and there's nothing wrong with that. And it's told in a well-executed movie. You know, every single thing has a setup and a payoff. There's no like, 
Oh, we're going to introduce this thing in the third act just out of nowhere. Everything is well executed. This script is very tight and very well paced. But in this movie, I got very emotionally involved. I teared up many times, which I can rarely say. A movie that I was like, eh, well, we'll see. You know, I'll do a review for it. You know, Palmer, sure. What can, what can go wrong? Well, nothing really. I'm looking through this movie. I'm thinking about it. I can't think of anything that I have issue with. I can't find any flaws. I'm sure if I really dig for them, I can find them, but I can't find any flaws that really deteriorate from my movie going experience. And I was thinking about this too. What should I rate this movie? Cause I really did like it. Can I give it a four? But the more I think about it, the more I want to give it a five out of five. And I can't believe I'm saying that. I really can't, but I love this movie. I'm giving Palmer a five out of five. Screw it. That's my rating. You know, I don't know how many people are going to be able to see eye to eye with me on this one because I don't know what other people's opinion is. And it's always weird for me to say that I love a movie that I didn't expect to love, but I got to be honest. Like I said, when you come to this channel, you're getting the truth, my honest, no BS take. I love Palmer and I hope that you guys do too. But if you guys do watch it, I want to hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below. What did you think of Palmer? And if you're new here and you want to see more videos just like this one, then definitely hit like and subscribe. I really, really enjoyed this movie and I hope that you guys do too. Again, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.